Let's see what Ikea has to offer in 2023. I'm about to share with you some of my favorite bedroom items and accessories for 2023 from Ikea. Now say what you will about the Swedish furniture brand, but I think they're awesome. And maybe I don't have a ton of Ikea furniture in my house, but the pieces that I do are awesome. Because for the most part, Ikea really presents us with a lot of cost-effective options. And the things that we're talking about today, very, very cool. So just as a general trend, I've been noticing Ikea and other furniture stores, they're gravitating towards more color, more interesting materials, definitely more natural and sustainable materials, I would say. But even just the shapes and the textures that people are exploring is really, really cool. And of course, you can always go with a fridful or a Clinton plant pot, some wicker baskets. Those are obvious choices. But what about wall decorations? I've been seeing this more and more sort of brought on by Scandi design, of course, a little bit of boho and also Wabi Sabi, those beautiful textured wall decorations like an Eigelstorp wall decoration. These names are gonna be very silly, but it just looks cool. It adds warmth and has that natural element that really gives a home a homey feel. And that textural element is huge too. Texture is a big component of design, especially if you're not working with a bunch of bright colors to pull focus. You really have to add that other visual element to really keep the space interesting. And things like this do a great job at doing that. I'm also a huge fan of this lampshade here, the Lurgrin. I don't even know what material this is made out of. Knitted base handmade. It's just beautiful. What's great about it is it adds a beautiful soft glow, which is perfect for a bedroom. It just emits a nice easy amount of light, whether you have it on a floor lamp or even as an overhead chandelier as well. I think it's really cool and interesting. Could be a bit of a dust magnet, but whatever. You can think about that later, right? This is great in 2023 because we love those warmer neutrals. We love beige. We love brown. We love rust and terracotta and orange again. And this sort of fits right into that mold beautifully. Another thing that I'm looking forward to in 2023 for Ikea are their light fixtures. But we're not just talking about lamp shades and materials and all that. The lights themselves are really, really cool. I love just a good old Mark Frost table lamp, which is a pretty straightforward lamp. But the bulbs you put on really transform that lamp. And then the light actually becomes the showcase, which is nice because that's what you get a lamp for, right? To emit light. And I also love this Jacobson pendant lamp shade. I love these darker themed lamps that emit a nice warm glow because I love having warmer light in my bedrooms, especially just that nice cozy feel. The same kind of lighting you might have at a really nice steakhouse where they just kind of make you feel tired and a bit woozy. <laughs> there is an interesting juxtaposition with dark lampshades emitting warm light. I'm a huge fan. But man, oh man, let me tell you, if you're into Scandi, if you're into minimalism and you don't like these dark accents, these dramatic lamps, you got to look at the dead cell lamp. Everyone's talking about it, everyone. I think it's so cute. Like it has a bit of a mushroom kind of shape, a bit of a cloud. And also the base is almost a natural kind of beige quality to it. It sort of looks like it could be natural wood, but it's not. But if you have a lot of natural woods that are lighter in coloration, this will tone in perfectly. Or if you just have a bunch of white everywhere, like a lot of people do, especially if they shop at Ikea, this will also suit it perfectly. What's nice is you just have this beautiful white opaque glass on top that just emits a beautiful soft glow again. And I think it's just really simple, really effective. I feel like it would suit a lot of different spaces, but would be great in a bedroom on your nightstand because uh, maybe reading a little book before you go to sleep, you know, stay off your phones, everyone. Blue light's bad for you. <laughs> so we've talked about texture. We've talked about lighting. The third big element that Ikea is doing that I think is really, really cool is is their technology. Their smart home products, anything that is more than just aesthetics, it actually has a real function. And I have to give it up to these Starkvind air purifiers. And there's different types. You have just your standalone one that has this beautiful looking kind of fabric sort of layout. It comes in a light color and a dark variation. It's a much more attractive solution if you need an air purifier in a room. And that's great. But even better, I would say, is the table air purifier. So you literally have a pretty snazzy looking table that you can put stuff on that also acts as an air purifier. So now you have double the functionality of it. And again, it comes in sort of a dark stained oak color. And then you have that same sort of classic Ikea, light wood, white coloration. I think they're both really great. I guess the only drawback with the table is you just have that awkward cable coming out of the table leg. <laughs> that would kind of bother me a little bit, but that's just me. I got to hand it to Ikea because I've always liked them for their packs closets, their brimness cabinets, 
cards. Those tried and true staples that are great to fill in little gaps here and there, but they've really upped their game in terms of interesting designs, really leaning into good old Scandi, but also exploring other design styles as well. And if you do have an appreciation for the whole Scandinavian aesthetic, we talked all about Scandi design in this video right here if you want to check it out.